Here we're going to see an example um, that we've seen before in previous chapters uh, of converting uh, Celsius temperature into Fahrenheit. Um, but I think it's worth doing one that involves decimals because there is a, um, a shortcut we can take to avoid fractions um, in this particular example. So, uh, of course, we're going to plug negative 17.4 degrees into where we see C in this formula. So we're going to have F, the Fahrenheit temperature, is equal to 9 fifths times negative 17.4 plus 32. Now, there's a couple ways you can go about this problem. You could just multiply 9 by negative 17.4 and then divide it by 5, but you also have the option of converting 9 fifths into a decimal. Now, um, you only want to do this if the fraction that you have um, will give you a nice decimal. But it turns out 9 fifths does. Anything divided by 5 is going to give you a nice decimal. And so what we can do here is convert 9 fifths into a decimal by saying, all right, 5 goes into 9 once. And we have a remainder of 4. We drop our 0. And 5 goes into 40 eight times. So what that means is that the fraction 9 fifths is the same as the decimal 1.8. So it's 1.8 times negative 17.4 plus 32. So now let's go ahead and multiply 1.8 and negative 17.4. And just so I don't forget, let's just note right now that the result of that multiplication will be negative. So 8 times 4 is 32. 7 times 8 is 56 plus 3 is 59. 8 times 1 is 8 plus 5 is 13. Carry the 0 down. 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times 7 is 7. 1 times 1 is 1. And then of course we need to count up the place values to the right of our decimal. We have 1 in 17.4, 1 in 1.8, so there is a total of 2. So we send that decimal point back to. So we have negative 31.32 plus 32. And so now we know we just need to subtract these numbers, uh, or these, these absolute values. So 32 minus 31.32 Looks like I better add a couple of zeros after the decimal point in 32. Um, so we're going to do some borrowing. This can become a 10, but I'm going to have to borrow not just from the 0, but actually from 20 and make that a 19. So 10 minus 2 is 8, 9 minus 3 is 6. Okay, and so we have 0 0.68, and since 32 is a bigger val uh, absolute value than negative 31.32 has, our answer is positive 0.68 degrees Fahrenheit.